right. Let's do this thing. Should I clear these first? I don't feel like it. Let's just do it. Let's just hit it. <laughs> yes, I'm reluctant. I'm just going to buy some of these. Alright. So our highest record on this was 20. Did I screw up? No, we're unobliterated. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Well. Maybe we got a little bit stronger somewhere along the line can't liquefy anything in this challenge oh man oh this isn't so bad after all you know what this is fine I don't mind this at all <laughs> let's do this oh the only thing I remembered about obliterate was the t amount of time I spent clicking fight to get the first five zones all right Enemies have 1 trillion X attack and health. Equipment is 1 trillion X more expensive. Every 10 zones, it gets 10 times worse. Apparently, my trimps don't care. Apparently, they're up to the task. This says a lot about how ridiculously OP they've become. Maybe I should buy them by the 100 lot. Maybe they don't need equipment. Maybe they can just run around naked. It's as nature intended for them. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm not even using anticipation or anything. I don't even have dominance formation yet. I don't have anything yet. How far is it going to go like this? How many staircases will we build before it suddenly starts stuttering? Hmm. Well. This actually feels kind of weird not having all my stuff open up that I usually get. Not having liquefaction. How are you doing, Fluffles? And about halfway to, uh... Getting that next one in. Hmm. Hmm. Won't be anytime soon, though. When I get that, I'm probably going to want to immediately hit some speed runs. Uh, so I had... I don't even have a portal yet. I can't even... What was it? Three or four dailies? We'll do all of those before we do the climb. Now I can start thinking about this again. Like, actually, like be right well actually I don't know this might I might spend days on this run still I don't know I'm, I'm not sure yet but we're about to start growing we're about to start oops past that let me see we gain one percent for every one zone reached every ten zones the bonus will increase by one percent yes yes Hmm. This might be a really massive boost. It might just be huge. Actually, the, the amount uh, we've done since we started the challenges, I have gained so much bonus here. More attack, more hit points, and more helium. It's, it's actually enormous. I mean, incredibly time-consuming. This has taken me, all told, I've spent the better part of a month maybe if, if we count the daily challenges in the middle this might this, this might have been about a month spent but the results speak for themselves they really do they really really do mm. well let's spend this what do we really want eh uh, Hmm. Hmm. Or 
across. If we go over here, I feel like the crits are probably what I should be investing in right now. more critty and critting a little bit harder okay very good as we are chipping away I recently got to see the uh, first few episodes of Mob Psycho 100 season 2 I really liked season 1 like I enjoyed it a lot not quite as good as One Punch Man well, the, the author's other work but Man, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2 really knocks it out of the park. Every episode, I'm like, wow, that was really good. Ah. Oh, I'm very excited to see where that where it's going with that. And already... Mm-hmm. We'll add 42%, which is already more than my previous uh, thing was giving me. No signs of slowing down. We've not seen a death yet. Is there a... I don't suppose there's an achievement for um, humane run in Obliterated, is there? Couldn't be. 600. I haven't even reached 600. Hmm. Yeah. Once I get that extra point of overhit, and I've done a long run, so the liquefaction goes further. These three here. And I think there's even a mastery. Yeah, this. Picking up these. Bam. That's worth it. It's not just that it gives me a little extra damage, but it's importantly worth the extra golden upgrade. Hmm. Complete a void map. Oh, that's probably super easy by now. Probably stupid easy. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to these, but after the square challenges, maybe I'll take a moment to do some of these. Maybe. Beat the spire with no respec. Uh, probably not so hard. My heirlooms are pretty good at this point. And the square challenge and other things factor in. So this is probably not so bad. Hmm. I have. I doubt that this could be hard. Not quite so sure on this one. Hmm. Kill an enemy on eradicated. Kill an enemy on eradicated. What? What are you talking about? Is there going to be another one that's going to open up when I hit zone 600, maybe? Then it would be locked and invisible, wouldn't it? Eradicated? If it's visible, I should have access to it, right? Hmm. Power tower. I'm working on it. Bionic Nuker. Mm hmm. Okay, now these are starting to sound um, not so easy. Beat the imploding star. You think I can do it? Hmm. Boy, that one sounds terrible. Wow. A lot of things on... Oh, wait, no, that last one said eradicated again. Doc, what is with this eradicated? What? What is this? It's not here. It's literally not listed. Is it especially here? No. I haven't beaten an... I have not beaten an enemy on it, so obviously I've never had an opportunity to use it. I don't know. I don't know what this eradicated is. What I do know 
Cause I've already got 156%. I still haven't suffered a death, have I? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You know how I can tell? Because this stopped being a 5 and became a 45. Somewhere we did have a fall. Somewhere. Hmm. There you go. It'll just get replaced in a second anyway with new gear. I don't know why I bothered. There it goes already. All right, anyway. Hmm. Go ahead and take a moment. I don't know if I'll be able to reach the lava. Seems, seems kind of unlikely. So we should take a moment. build up our warp stations a little extra. Hmm. I find here. Full speed. Full steam ahead. Get all those upgrades to our buildings that are completely irrelevant. Probably set it to building, to working on metal next. There. Ah, there you go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and we just got another amalg. We're up to three. So I switch to a large metal cache. And that should help me build some extra warp stations. I really don't know that this is how much this will help, but if I until I get to magma, I need as many. You know, I I, I might actually really need to do the warp station thing. Also, until I get to magma, nurseries are good. So I might even think about building some nurseries, but I don't need them yet, and I don't want to commit to any resource unless I'm sure I need to spend it. So I'll, I'll probably hold off on those. <laughs> oh boy. All right, go ahead, build up a little surplus. Just a smidge. Actually, it's not really necessary. The mega miners are so good that whatever I save up will be utterly, utterly pointless within just a few zones. Hmm. And another one. Thump. And another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Somehow we, start, we, we failed to figure out how to build bigger Giga Stations. You know, as amazing as the Magma Generator is, and it's pretty impressive, if we had continued finding a Giga Station on every zone, well, they'd probably start collapsing in on themselves, becoming black holes just from the sheer mass, but probably wouldn't need that Magma Generator none. Anyway. Just be like, no, we'll just build bigger Giga Stations. Endlessly. Forever. All right. <laughs> I've already surpassed 10%. By which I mean a 10% boost to this. You want to be 10% more attack power? 10% more health? 10% more helium income? Already done. And growing. I can't believe how afraid I was of this. And now it's just like <laughs> steamrolling everything. Although I, I do have to already buy equipment or it, it, it kind of... Well, I mean, you can see how quickly it's slowing down. Uh, maybe we should pause once more and consider... 
building ourselves up once again. Yeah, seems like that might be worth doing. Also, on the achievements, there were several. Let me see. Imploding star. Beat the imploding star. Okay. Well, we're not there yet. I guess I will go ahead. We'll gather the equipment first. Then we'll gather some metal. Build some extra, extra warp stations and stuff. <sighs> yeah. Pick that speed up again. Anyway, from here on, it might... I mean, I don't have to get fussy yet doing this, I guess, technically, though it does make it faster, arguably. But, um... Hmm. I wonder if I can really reach the magma like this. It seems pretty unlikely. It's it's It seems extremely unlikely, actually. But we'll see. The further we get, the more resources I have to work with. We've got our formations now. All right. Oops, not the spire. I didn't mean to push on you. Right then. All right. You know, I could leave this running overnight, and I'd probably get a few fl fl zones higher, but uh, I think that the diminishing returns have really, really kicked in by this point. But holy crap, it's been just amazing. I mean, look at this. This is almost, almost 30% of my current bonus just being added on. Like, it's just... <sighs> and restart at zone one. Okay. Uh, might as well go to Void Liam. Uh, wow. Hmm. All right, so, um, hmm. I just want to see this. Hold on. I just, I just want to see it. Most of the void maps, though. It's mildly annoying, but not really a big deal. 4,300%. 4,300%. So much more helium, so much more everything. Alright, we gotta slam through these now. But first, I heard today on Discord that... We have an update. What? Uh, uh oh. Ah, oh, shit. Well, this is embarrassing. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, internet exists again. Okay, great. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, what's new? What's new? Okay. Yes. Yes, this just came out today. The empowerment of nature system has been expanded. There are now story messages about nature. There are? Once you reach level 50 with an empowerment of nature, you unlock enlightenments for that nature tab. These are once per portal bonuses that last your whole run and guarantee special bonuses. Reaching level 50 with the empowerment of ice now grants plus one overkill cell on ice zones. Reaching level 100 is plus two overkill cells. Spire stones no longer drop from spires. Wait, what? 
as long as I don't lose the ones I already gathered. Is that a brand new type of heirloom drops called a core? Core is going to be recycled. The same amount of spire stones you would have previously in order for clean spires. But you can also collect them, upgrade them, and use them to make your own spire more powerful and give them names. We balance the drop rates of all helium rarities up to zone 300. You're now much more likely to find higher rarity heirlooms in the early and middle game. Hmm. Rare heirlooms now have three slots instead of two. Don't want to go in those. Don't want to spawn with an empty slot. Increase the chance of higher rarity heirlooms to drop at zone 600, which I'm about to go to. Tenth tier of mastery is in play. Okay. Added a new auto thing from the auspicious presence, earnable by 350 plus void maps. So we'll be getting that soon. Fluffy now is a tenth evolution. Two achievement perspective. Uh, oh, hello. New crit tier. Might that relate to the new masteries? You can add one additional slot to carry an heirloom back through the portal. Okay. Hmm. Looks like we've been making good progress. Huh. Empowerments of nature story. Uh, I wish I was going to stay up to check that out, but I'm going to go to bed. Okay, it hasn't taken my spire stones away. Cores? Hmm, huh. the spire stones are listed here now. Huh. We haven't crossed a spire yet, of course. Whoa, uh, okay, uh, let's see. Okay. Sacrifice your tokens and return them back to nature. Enlighten your trimps to be one with the poison. While enlightened, your trips deal 3x damage and poison nature stacks deal 2x damage. This bonus lasts until the next portal. And only one enlightenment can be added from the poor portal. Enlightenment can be portioned, put to the bottom, but the effects will not activate until nature enters your world. Each time this enlightenment is activated, it costs 150 tokens of poison. Each time you start a daily challenge, the cost of all three enlightenments will increase by 33% or 50 tokens, whichever number is greater, but never more than 100%. Okay, all right, I see. All right, okay, I see. Ten times to non helium, specifically non helium loot. Okay, yeah. Wind stacks accumulate twice as fast. A wind can stack up to 300. You get an additional 5% stack transfer rate. Trimps gain access to wind formation. This is a new formation that prevents any enemies in wind zones from falling below 1 HP before they have 300 stacks of wind. Wind formation also grants a scrying for. The, all the bonuses of scrying formation and allows collection of dark essence with no trimp stat penalty. It's a version of scrying formation with no trimp stat penalty. Interesting. That actually makes it pretty good. I was thinking, how could it compete with this? But then it got that. Okay, what do you do? While enlightened, your trimps gain plus two maximum overkill cells. The speedrunner, eh? And fluffy XP. I wasn't expecting... Oh, hello, Mr. Common Core. Hold on, we'll come right back to that in a second. Okay, fluffy XP. Ice zone. Ice stacks can be twice as fast. Maybe hit with trips of 20 more ice. 
that is below 50%, it will instantly shatter. It cuts all the time in ice zones in half. The shards of ice from shattering enemy destroy everything in their past, triggering your maximum overkill, regardless of your damage. Okay, yeah, this is speed running and fluffy. This is, well, good for gathering dark essence and stuff. This is just straight up damage. Just straight up, you do triple damage. They're all good. I'm still erring a little bit on the side of poison being the best, but they're all good. They're all so good. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. All right, let's look at this. Okay, I hadn't seen, somehow I missed seeing that new slot. I mean, I'm probably going to get something better, but I mean, it's upgradable. I mean, there's no reason not to. 44%. Sure. Wish I'd had that all along. Wonder what other cores can do. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Of course, the real question's over here. I could respec right now and... Oh, actually, I wouldn't get anything for it. But! Maybe I could. No, I could totally. I could totally take away one of these to get another... Uh, to pick one thing out of here. Okay, let's see. Liquefaction, liquefaction 3, 10%. In addition, hyperspeed 2 bonus allow, will also now function up to 75% of your highest reach zone. Well, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mesmer triples the challenge squared bonus. Does not include a, a, a obliterated. Wait. It says it does not include my obliterated bonus, but it looks like it's doubling my <laughs> obliterated bonus to me. Anyway, that would be pretty amazing, because that includes both attack, hit points, and helium gained. Your trimps heal for 50% of their remaining health immediately before each attack. To the intense amount of heal present, trimps cannot heal in never-before-cleared spires. Oh, okay. Huh. That, oh my gosh. It's the solution to those stupid dailies that do a percent damage every time you attack. That's what that fixes. Still magma mancing. Start every post magma zone with additional 60 seconds of credit already applied to your magma mancers. Per spire? Wait, what? Per Aspire Row completed this run. Isn't that... Wow. I would be counting like I had an hour, basically. Every two piles you can increase the maximum time that Magma Mancers can stack. Is good. Is good. Adds one extra healthy cell for every spire completed this run, healthy cells also drop an additional 20% of the zone's value in helium. Bring it up to 65%. Spire 1 will count. Interesting. So, you know, more helium. Master of the Void, gain three spectacular bonuses to your void maps. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how spectacular this is. Get out of there. I'm busy reading. The fluffy bonus for stacked void maps calculates with compounding gains rather than additive. Each void map in the stack increases the helium gain from the stack. Oh. Okay, that's spectacular. 
allows void maps to infinitely stack. However, the bonus helium does not increase past the amount Fluffy can normally stack. Which would cap at a bonus of... Okay. The entire stack would be complete. It would make the void maps a lot faster. And more valuable. Oh, and your trims gain plus five attack inside a void map. Oh, shit. I need this. I need this. Ah, uh, well, I mean... I think Mesmer is the best one. Because it would get me more helium and more attack power and more hit points. And that's... Oh. I could give up something. I could give up something and pick one of these up, but you know what? I'm so close. I, I will easy I will easily unlock another one on my next run. Easily. Easily get more masteries. It won't be an issue at all. I think I should go for Master of the Vault. No, it's got to be Mesmer. It's got to be Mesmer, right? Yeah, it has to be. I'm going to take Mesmer. But I'll get more than one mastery point off the run. I'll pick up Mesmer. Then I'll pick up something off of this set. Probably charged crits, but maybe Fluffinity, actually. Then I'll get another pick, and then I'll take Master of the Void. And between Mesmer and Master of the Void, oh, man. Mm. It's kind of a waste to do dailies without them. I mean, if I have them, the dailies would be so much better. But while I'm climbing for those mastery points, I don't. I, it might take me days. I'm gonna take some dailies. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take 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 these out, and then I'm gonna do my mastery run. As I'm sticking with my original plan, I will not be tempted off the path. Okay. Those. All right, let's get going. Roll out. And reaching those new heights is going to be so good. The liquefaction will be, everything will be better. Everything. This will be huge. Cores. Huh. This is a crap core. What do the good ones look like? What other things can it do? Can it increase the fire damage or the lightning damage? What what all can it do? Ooh, you know, poison mastery should affect the poison tiles. Totally should. So many new toys to play with in the morning. What will I do? What will I do? Ah, well, we will see in the morning. I gotta go to sleep now. <laughs> I have to go to sleep now. There's no choice. It must be done. <sighs> Hello, what have I come home to here? Mm -hmm. From the void, an auspicious presence reaches out and fills your mind. You feel at peace with the world. It asks you what you desire most. Wait, this has definitely happened before. Hasn't it? You're pretty sure it has, but you have no actual memory of it. But you do, but also you don't. Ah, too much time travel. It'll do that to you after a while. Wait, who even are you? Where are you? What are you? You ever think of asking for something amazing, like, I don't know, 
all your trimps have superpowers? They can all go Super Saiyan? Wouldn't that be nice? Super Saiyan formation, go! You sit on the ground and contemplate things for a few hours, while the auspicious presence waits patiently. You finally stand up and demand that your trimps become smart enough to level up their own doggone equipment. You can't see how this could possibly go badly. The present lets you kn presence lets you know that it is done. Then it dissipates. As soon as it's gone, you realize that you should have just asked for invincible trimps. But you're pretty sure you'll remember next time. It sounds like it would just unlock some weird challenge. Auto-equip. Actually, that is something I could have used. That, that's something I could really make use of. Actually, yeah, this should have, I actually have had been, had, I don't think I mentioned, but I had thought about, you know, this is a feature that should exist. Just do that. Hmm. Mm. I, I can't see any reason to hold back, honestly. I, I can't see any reason to hold back, really. Between this and blacksmithery, it's actually super convenient. Super, super convenient. I suppose I could put limits on it, but I can't really think of a reason to. Like, I mean, it's already going to use 25% of my resources up, but it shouldn't be too big a deal, right? I could limit it to a hundred, uh, but again, why? By the time it starts to become an issue, I'll already be less than, I, I don't know. You can use equipment here, up to, oh, uh, turn the shield off though, don't, don't waste my wood. Wood is valuable for gyms and nurseries, so none of that now, oh, alright, fine, here you go. Meh, why not? Apply. None of these are less than 25%, huh? No, wait, you should totally be buying daggers and things, right? Oh, there you go. Womp! Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. So it starts with the daggers. Prioritizing them over the later gear, I guess? Huh. Well, that was freaking cool. All right, this daily went on too long. Ugh. That's because it was one of those stupid ones. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're going to get the curious and cunning back up. I, I could sell some of this off, but you know what? I don't even feel like it. We'll just, we'll just keep going. It's fine. Uh, got some more supply? I don't know. Seems like that one's the lowest level these days. What kind of daily did I just agree to? I don't even pay attention to the type of daily I agree to. Ah, uh, fine. Looks good. Go with that. It's not buying any. It sh should be purchasing, right? Maybe it's because we're in the liquefaction zone. I bet that's why it stopped. There's probably a few seconds that it waits before it kicks in. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's fine. Um, mm-hmm. Very scary. I can't wait to use these. Maybe I should bring this up to level 100. Because reasons. Just barely. Urgh. Not that there's... I mean, there'll be some extra overkilling, but not a great deal of it. But if I use this... Hmm. Let's 
time you start a daily challenge, the cost will decrease. Uh -huh, yeah. All right, anyway, uh, let's just say... Uh, let's just... Hmm. Each time this enlightenment is activated, its cost increases by 150. So you could click on it like a dozen times and keep in uh, be enlightened multiple times over. Hmm. I'm so curious. Oh, is the oh yes, it is. Ah, there you go. Hold on, this is going to be kind of fun. What am I doing? You can just do this. I could go up to 10 if it would have allowed me. Okay. Just go, 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 go. Get in there. Of course, this is eating up stuff that could go to the warp stations, of course. That's unfortunate. Oh, what? Why aren't you fighting? What stopped it? No, really, what caused it to stop? <laughs> Picking up more amalgamators. Hee <laughs> hee. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. Ho ho. Okay. Anyway. Auto equipment. Look at those. <laughs> That's absurd. There's nothing that counts the number. You know, there's nothing ever in here that was like, you need a hundred of. Ooh, more achievements to look at, right? They did mention that. You need at least 200 in each of these or anything like that. Nothing like that ever appeared. So, so we didn't get anything more for any of those. We got Terran Tornado. <laughs> Cleared in four minutes. Oh, is that all you want from me? Ah. Hmm. I think I can do this one. I don't know about these others, but I think I can do this one. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, all right. Well, I think you've spent enough of your time here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. Get a move on. There's a lot of warp stations that were basically wasted. Or giga stations, or whatever you want to call them, the upgrades. Anyway, right then. Hmm. Right. I just remembered something. I didn't check my heirlooms to see what kind of new colorful cores I would have had. <sighs> Who knows what kind of cool stuff I would have had unlocked in my heirlooms. Ah, oh, I should have looked. Oh, well, we'll check at the end of this run. In the meantime, here you go. Have this. Wee. Wait, wait a minute. Ah, oh, you eat spire stones rather than nullifium. Oh. Oh, yeah, it said that in the thing, didn't it? The text document. I just... I see. Fire trap, poison trap, or strength tower. Wait, what? Wouldn't fire traps increase the damage of strength towers? Or do you mean the effect of adding damage? This is a very small selection, actually. Yeah, you mean the, um... The, uh attack bonus to my trimps, the 300% there. That's what you mean. Uh, anyway, we'll get better cores. I'll, I can always just 
just smash this to get my spire stones back. At least I assume I can, unless they randomly work differently from the uh, Nolithium based gear, the heirlooms. They could work differently, just to screw with me. But it probably doesn't. Anyway. <laughs> this is so great. Ah! All automated. Awesome. Maybe I should have used more nurseries. Maybe. Just just all automated. Once I gathered them, like I left it running while I, I had it set to... Oh, here we go. Ooh. Condenser effect. I don't... I don't remember seeing that one. All right, let's see. So we got common, uncommon, rare, epic. Hmm, no, that's not a choice listed. Nor is the runestone drop rate listed. I see. I'm going to equip this, but since it eats Spire Stones, I'm going to kind of be wary. Hmm. Replacing one of them is expensive. Condenser. Oh, it does not increase the world bonus. Okay, it specifically increases the poison compounding. Your fire and your runestone drop rate. <sighs> I'm not gonna spend my too many spire stones. But being able to increase my fire trap damage should increase my threat level and finally give me another floor. Without me even having to do any more than that. Maybe that won't be enough. Nah, we need to get up here. We can buy these. Well... I'll buy this and this. It's fine. I mean, okay, I can't afford to increase the life aspire by one more floor just yet, but we will get enough stones very soon to do that again. Yeah, I just won't spend any more. No, it's 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 good. It's good. It's good. I think. I'm halfway convinced. I'm halfway convinced it's good. Right then. Increase that threat level. Come on, the fire traps are hitting much harder now. Check out that strange, awkward number of damage coming out of them now. Yeah! And that means that these hit harder too. Fire and strength boosted. It's only 50%. Slightly under 50%. Oh, let's make it a nice even 50. And you! You bother me! There, eight. Okay, those are nice good numbers. Uh, I'll get I'll get the 200k again soon. It's, it's not going to be too bad. So, 8% more poison damage effectively once they hit the condensers. Each condenser condenses 8% more. And then the next one should compound that. So that should actually be quite a bit. And then the fire... Hmm. That threat level ain't moving. But nobody's getting up to the top three floors, so... We're definitely... Oh, look at this. This is working. Oh, yeah. The threat level is going to skyrocket now. That'll mean more rune stones. And then. 
I could actually buy both of these, but I think the fire trap's the most important one. It's probably a better core if I can beat the next spire. We're gonna finish these dailies first. Won't take long. All the all of the sudden progress. <laughs> And all they had to do was give me a weird new thing. Actually, we were going to start do making massive progress just because of what I did with the obliterated challenge. Mmm. And having finished all the squares. Yeah. Anyway. I am well pleased. Okay, okay. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Is that awesome? I, I, maybe no one thinks that's awesome. I think that's awesome. <clears throat> it's just, it's just a straight line. Just, pfft. I just go vertical now. I even, I even do horizontal anymore. Just vertical. Up, <laughs> oh, well, I win. All these here, they just concede. They're just like, you know what? We're not even gonna fight. We just, we just yield. Yeah. I guess that's a way of saying my Fluffy is level 9 again. <clears throat> it's going to be quite quite a while before he gets to level 10, I suspect, but... Yeah. I have a little bit more reach. And as soon as this run is done, as soon as we're done here, we're going to play around with this stuff. Get new masteries. And, oh my gosh, are we going to become more powerful. I've been thinking a little bit about these over here, too. Just a, just a little bit, like like this one. So there's a few I could possibly pick up. But... Eh. <laughs> I want my masteries, most of all. Look at that weird little pattern we end up with. Hmm. Huh. Anyway. That was all. Just that. <laughs> all right. We're done. Let's cash these in. We got some Spire Stones once more, but I think I'm going to hold them. What do we want most? What do we want most? I want Plague Bringer. 5% more. That means every enemy hit by this is going to have 5% less health on top of what it transfers. <laughs> and we'll take a little bit of that too. Alright. I want to make no mistakes. We are on pure battle. We are going to Portal. Should we portal into anything? Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to take millions and I'm going to put them. I'm going to take these two. Then I'm going to dump a million at a time into Man, I can really invest a ton, can't I? No, this is good. This is real good. Okay, yes. Enormous. I don't know if I really need this much loot, actually, but mm, I'm going to keep it. What to do with the rest? Hmm. Hmm.
carpentry and motivation before looting. Okay. All right. Do we want to use one of these to climb our way up part way? I could square a watch and ride that up. Hmm. I could. I mean, I can't think of a reason not to. Ride this all the way. Oh, hello. Right, okay, that's not a thing, of course. So I could ride watch up and then cut off and start climbing the hard, slow way. I think this is actually the laziest way to do it. I think it actually is. It won't start me out at... Yeah, no, it, it looks good. I think I'm going to do that. Yes. <sighs> Go. Now, next up, one of the things I was wrestling with was whether or not to go for some more achievements to get another golden upgrade. But I think I'm just going to do this. After I get this, I can probably do a few other things, then come back and do another mastery level run. All right. I am going to let you... Take a moment to fill out your assorted, whatchamacallits. All I worry about, I had up to Amalgamator 4 last time, by the way, and I just added more to stuff like uh, coordinated. Okay, so I'm going to go here now. Mm, of course. I'm going to activate all three of those. We'll jump out of this challenge when we get around 550-ish. Okay. What else? What else to do? Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about enlightenment. And, you know... They're interesting. They really are. I mean, look at this. If it has 20 or more stacks and it's below 50% health, well, when you combine that with the Plague Bringer, shouldn't that just be pretty much everything? While we're in ice areas, just shatters? But I think poison is just the best. I think I think we should just enlighten our poison. Poison active. Now I've got more tokens. Hmm. Each time this enlightenment is activated, it, it increases its cost by 150. So the next time I'm playing, if I want poison again, it'll cost 300. There'll have to be a way to reset those somewhen. I was wondering if you could click it multiple times to stack something and it would get progressively expensive, but no, it's between runs. Okay. So, that's what I was afraid of. We'll have to make the most every of, of each use, then, is what that means. Obviously. Hmm. little added oomph. All right. And then I reach over here and I'm like, hey, make sure you make all those tributes, huh? Get those collectors in there. Go, go, go. Do it. Up to three amalgamators and we haven't even brought the uh, magma into in on the equation yet. Huh. Good. All right. Hmm. All right. 
right, so watch should let me should allow me to leave this pretty much unattended now for quite some time. I'll have to fiddle a little bit around the spire, of course, but that should be about it until we get into the mid 500s, 550 and all that. Hmm. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. Should I try to get the squared challenge a little bit further while I'm at it? I mean, I guess, I mean, it wastes time, but I mean, I can't think of a good reason not to after I used the uh, bones to give myself that little added oomph. Hmm. I, I really want to use the ice one. So, I, I, I just, I really want to use it. It sounds amazing, but... Aside from a speed run, it just it doesn't doesn't seem like it's good for for reaching new distance. Yeah. Oh wait a second. Okay, suddenly I understand this. Uh, now that I know exactly how this works, 150 more percent each day. It decreases it by 33 percent or 50 tokens. Okay, so each day it goes back down. Okay, now I understand exactly how this works now. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should start using them during my dailies. Hmm. Probably just non-helium. And the tokens themselves are valuable because I want to keep leveling this stuff up. But, on the other hand, I mean... Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to think about how these are best utilized. The fact that this gives Dark Essence, the, the formation, the wind formation is interesting. It's, it's interesting. I mean, I guess it is a better way to gather helium a little bit. Um... Hmm. I guess. I don't know. Maybe you run wind on dailies. Maybe you alternate between wind and poison on them. Ah, <sighs> but you need more tokens. How many tokens would I get if I just... Oh. <coughs> okay, well, um, actually that's better than I thought it was. Hmm, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess that... Yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Well. Let's shoot ahead to new heights, shall we? Let's just get these warp stations up. I'm about to hit magma, but I'm busy worrying about the warp stations the speed I'm going. Good grief. That extra, that extra overkill is crazy. I love it. I kind of want more overkill, but I kind of don't because think about what it would make a mess of this. It would start becoming uh, crooked uh, things again going up like this. And it would never quite bisect it perfectly. No matter where it started, it would always be obnoxious. Anyway. I swear, I'm not OCD. Really, I'm not. I just, you know, it would be nice if it was just perfect, you know? Well, this is nice. I've still got most of my nurseries. And... Yeah, I've used about 10% of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and accept that I got slightly further with my squared watch. So if I get through this map, I'll be in ice for a while, and then it'll be back to poison. I really like to keep the use of nurseries to a minimum if I could help it, but you know what? 
577 is my highest. So, I mean, I'm practically right on top of my previous best. Hmm. Hmm. I still want to hold the nurseries. I might want to switch into Scryer formation. There are four enemies in your current zone holding Dark Essence. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll only use the Squire Formation during the Poison Periods again. Shouldn't take too long to get to the next one. What do you think, Fluffy? You only have to reach your current best 202 more times. I see. Well, it only takes about half a day to get there, so, you know, about a about hundred days. A little over three months, I could evolve him. Hmm. Or I could just use dailies. <laughs> oh, boy. Actually, that's not fair. I did actually strip away some of his curiosity and cutting. So it's probably closer to 180 days, right? Something like that. Hmm. Well, anyway. If nothing else, I've got a few more gems. I'll get a couple more equipment upgrades. reach new territory soon well we're back in the poison we've got four amalgamators we've got one dark essence in this zone just one really all right well we'll find them now the question is do I need nurseries? How many of my 5,000, almost 500 remaining nurseries can I save as we push deeper? Hmm. Soon. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. I mean, five seconds, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I'm actually about ready to go to bed, and, you know, I think I think this will just work. I think I'll just leave this running like this. Hmm. Wish I could trigger this again. <laughs> oh, well. Go, go, super poison. So I figure I'll probably try to, uh... Uh, I'm still awake when I reach 585. I'll probably try to use the um, Bionic Wonderlands to uh, get ahead. Just get a little bit ahead. Yeah, pretty consistently, about five seconds. Hmm. I suppose at the end of the zone, I'll buy you know, a little few nurseries. Uh, maybe 25. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if I'm still up when I hit eight or 585, I'll see if I can get equipment from uh, way ahead. The next spire is coming up, and it's a poison spire, so... I don't know that I'll be able to kick its ass, but I'll certainly do well. Now, I've been thinking about these. I can take one pick... It won't take me long. Before I'm done with this poison, I'll have one pick at least. So, on the one hand, on the one hand, strength and health would add four healthy cells, which with this is basically a 60% added damage. But this 
would allow for another 20 minutes from my magma mancers, which would be uh, 20 and then another 20 compounded on that. And it, it, it's a lot, okay? It's more than 40. It's like, what, 44? Something like that. So that one is definitely also more metal, that much more metal at the same time. So, you know, attack and metal, real good. But I'm leaning towards Mesmer. It just straight up, it just straight up doubles my attack and my health and my helium gain, so. Pretty sure that's the winner. But then there's an angelic over here, which would just say, eh, you don't really need nurseries for a while. I don't think I'm going with it, but I have to say it I, I want it. Of course, this is the most important one of the whole set, but I'll have to respec when I'm doing dailies and to take advantage of it. I'm not gonna try to press deeply using it. So, I think I'm going to end up going Mesmer, and then I'll probably just take the, the, uh, Fluffinity, or, I mean, actually, well, I mean, Charged Crits here is, no, I should, I should probably go Fluffinity. I mean, this is 50%, whereas this is only 27, but this adds a plus one to my Mega Crit modifier. And I honestly don't know what the hell that means, but... Mega crit sound awesome. I, I I think how it is is like you crit and then if your crit chance is 150%, if your crit chance is 100%, you always crit. If your crit chance is 150%, then you have a 50% chance of a mega crit. But how, what exactly plus one to your mega crit means? I don't, I, I don't know what plus one to your mega crit modifier means. Maybe an additional multiply, like like instead of times five or times three, whatever it is, let's say it's times three, maybe it goes from times three to times four, maybe, I'm not really clear, so, so, so anyway, I guess I'll just kind of, current crit chance is, holy shit, really? Hmm. 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 Times five. This probably goes to a times six here. That, yeah, okay. Probably. That's probably what it does. I think the fluffinity is better. I think. I think I'd rather take that one. Or I could just, just take... Just take excessive. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, Alright, here, go ahead. Have some nurseries, alright? Don't say I never gave you nothing, game. Hmm. Oh, how many mastery points did we gain? Oh, yeah? Well, there's zero! Just quit playing around and cut your way through this. No sense hanging around these here parts. Ooh, that wasn't very good. Healthy and tough. Yeah, yeah. I still have a free respec I haven't used. Hmm. Hmm. Soon. Got it. Mesmer. Then I pick up my Fluffinity. Then I f pick up one of these other ones. All before I go back up for deck building. These three mastery points. Oh. Now. <laughs> now. I'm gonna have to go to sleep. 20 minutes ago.
Yeah, I only stayed up to get that stupid mastery point. You know how long it's been since I've gotten a mastery point? Oh, but I have one now. Combine that to what I did with all those squared runs. To just, to just <clears throat> double it again. Like, holy crap. Then... When I when the when I get the when I do some more dailies, I'm gonna get so much helium stretching further than before on top of just oh man, it's gonna be so much helium, it's gonna be crazy. I'm sorely tempted to wait for it to get to here so that I can put it onto the next bionic wonderland. But I really should go to bed. <sighs> you know, on one hand, being an adult is so awesome. If you want to just go out at 4 a.m. and buy things from a store, you can just do it. If you want to go and eat fruit and popcorn in, in a hot bathtub, yes, just in the tub. No one can tell you you can't. You're an adult now. You can do whatever you want. But there is this drawback. You also have to put yourself to bed to be responsible so that you can get up and, to, and go to work in the morning. And you have to do it to yourself. Alright, I think I've just about talked myself into going to sleep. It wouldn't even take that long. Just just 15 more minutes? Anyway, good night.